Hey everyone, it's me, your boy, Jason. Jeff, Jeff. looking sharp with his new goatee. Two Fs, don't forget it. Mmm, yeah. Fresh. New goatee, but I went to shave my beard, and the guide was not on there. And so I went, er, and took out a big chunk of my beard. I know I'm that game. Kind of upset about it. I've done that a couple times, which is kind of crazy. I, I don't think this is my best look. I think, I, I'm not saying you look bad. I think both of us look better with a little facial hair at a minimum. Yeah. You know? It'll go back, Jeff. Like, thank you. Oh, it's going to go back sturdy or better. Thank you. Yeah, no thank problem. You. Guys, we're back from Alabama. Woo! Heck of a trip. Heck of a trip. Um, We had stockpiles of stuff to do video videos on. And with this Alabama haul, we have, uh, wouldn't you say at least 100 videos worth of stuff that we've acquired, probably? I mean, really. Something like yeah. that. Yeah, really. Um, I know we harp on it a lot, but we are just, we're ready to do videos for a while. Videos. Yeah. So buckle in, people. Buckle in. Yeah, great trip. Click it or ticket. Yeah. Awesome trip. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for being in the videos with us. That yeah. was a blast. Really easy to get people to be in videos in Alabama. Yeah, here, not so much. Yeah. Alabama, it's great. Nebraska, yeah. step it up. Yeah, nobody wants to be in the videos in Nebraska. I'm just kidding. If you want to be in videos, that's great. No, if, if, you you don't don't, want, if you don't want to, it's fine. We love the camera. Let's face it. Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, getting stuff to make videos with forever, um, good friend Sandy Martin stopped mm -hmm. by the shop. She did. And uh, checked out checked out the place. I think she was impressed. Yeah. She seemed to enjoy I it. I think she liked it. Um, she's super knowledgeable with pop culture. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really fun to talk about some of that yeah. stuff. Yeah. As, as knowledgeable as anybody I've ever met, I would say. Which mm -hmm. is saying something. Yeah. Um, but she also gave us a wonderful box of goodies, which yeah. I'm pretty excited to go through. Oh, me too. Yeah. Should we get right into it? You know what? Let's... Oh, unboxing! Take the lid off. Woohoo! Who's grabbing first? Who's grabbing I'm first? I'm going to go first. Good. Because I need to mention this right off. Oh. Uh, hey, that's mine. <laughs> it is yours. <laughs> but it's a, it's a really funny, funny bit. Um, What? Probably when I was like 25? Like, I was, I was way too old to be into Spongebob. Maybe earlier 20s, because Spongebob was getting popular. Yeah. And mom picked up on it and would buy me <laughs> Spongebob stuff. And you loved it. I loved Spongebob. For Christmas. And loved Spongebob. Spongebob. So, yeah. I legitimately loved Spongebob. In mom's head, Jeff needed something, because you know there's like that sibling matching Christmas thing. So for a while there, Jeff got Bob the Builder stuff, and Jeff hardly knew who Bob the Builder was. I still don't know what Bob the Builder is. And it's like, you know, I'm not, I wasn't like a, you weren't like a huge yeah. brat Christmas morning or anything like that. But it was like gift after gift. It was probably like four Three it was or like four gifts. it was like a blanket and some bubble bath and like a ball. Yeah, it was it was just like some stuff that I had to like kind of feign enthusiasm about. Yeah. And you know, by the second one, <laughs> mom could tell like, oh, you don't like Bob the Builder, <laughs> do you? And I was like, I don't know who it is. I just don't know who this guy is. Ah. Uh, and since then, I just I still haven't uh really gotten into him but sandy martin is aware of this yeah, story yeah that's a that's a good so that's story. why he's here yeah i'm thrilled to have him in the that's a, that's actually a pretty sweet figure yeah but yeah as far as like i think bob the builder was skewed towards like a really young audience and spongebob actually was pretty funny i love that story this is bob the welder bob the welder people yeah all right i'm going in boy uh doing it i'm cherry oh do it do it sandy you outdid yourself with this one. This is amazing. Pee Wee Herman talking doll. Now, it's broken. <laughs> it's got that... I think there's just like a gear that's smaller and breaks, and it makes it so that it speeds up. They're all like this now, right? I mean, without fail. Yeah. Well, like, that was his laugh, I think. You know, but besides that, in really, really awesome shape. It is in really good shape. The clothes are all nice and clean. He's got... You can pose them however you want. I can't wait to have this guy uh, somewhere in the shop. Yeah. And the nice thing is, is that, you know, this is something that we probably wouldn't have had for years and years. Because we would want to pick it up at, like, an auction. Yeah. Where it's below $10. Mm -hmm. And this is something you find in, like, an antique mall for, like, $40. 40 yeah. You know? So, thank you so much. Yeah, that is awesome. It is absolutely awesome. Next up, we have an addition to the Cake Tin Library. Ooh. And this is the Red Ranger, who happens to be named Jason. Yeah. Uh, my birthday's coming up. I think I'm going to ask Mom to make me a Jason uh, that Power would Rangers be, cake. That would be wonderful. It would be wonderful. You, you'd have to remove that sticker. Ooh. That'd be, that might be a little bit... Okay, you know what, Mom? Make whatever cake you want. I'm fine. Uh, spoiler alert, I know what kind of cake you're getting. Is it carrot? Can't say. 
Is it not carrot? Mom asked me to keep it a secret. Are you serious? Dory, your secret is safe with me. I love this cake game we do every year. But yeah, I, we love these cake tins. That R2D2 one I featured recently. Mm -hmm. That Mickey Mouse one. This one's sturdy. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, very cool. Oh, it is really sturdy. Yeah. Like that Mickey Mouse one is tinfoil. Yeah, which is weird now that I feel this one. Yeah. Or this thing can make cakes. Aluminum foil? What do you call it when it's like sturdier tinfoil? That's kind of bendable. Already talked. This yeah. or that other that over that, that other kind that's like malleable. Now the seventies. I think we call it the seventies. Yeah. You know. Right. Sandy knows us. Oh yeah. And she knows that we like VHS tapes. So let's get through some of these. We got Pulp Fiction on VHS. Why does it say ten cents? Produced by. It's like an old pulp novel. Oh. Uh, it's, like, it's like that novel. I never knew that. Yep. Pulp like a pulp novel. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Pulp Fiction. Yeah. Very cool. That's a classic. Oh, absolutely a classic. Red Dragon. Now, I'll, I'll share a story about Sandy that, uh, you know, it actually kind of hurt my feelings when she suggested it. But she was very aware of my VHS collecting. And uh, I had an apartment, and it was like, it filled up a lot of the apartment. And at one point, she suggested that I just take off the covers and fold them in and make a scrapbook. I was butthurt. That was Sandy, not okay. Sandy, how dare you? That, that, that stung. How dare you? <laughs> you need the physical media. Yeah. But and it, I, I digress. Red Dragon. Uh, I feel like we've talked about this one before. This one you see a lot, you know? Yeah. I, Which is kind of weird. For like five years growing up, I had a Red Dragon movie poster. Oh, yeah. In, in my Because like, it's a solid flick. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. From the Auburn State Theater. Yeah. Place. You had sweet ones. Yeah. We got that. Truman Capote's In Cold Blood. Uh, this is the Richard Brooks version with the music done by Quincy Jones. Oh, I've never seen it. It looks good, though, doesn't Black it? Black and white. Yeah, they redid this uh, with who am I thinking of? Philip C. Yeah. yeah, Capote. Yeah. That was a good movie. You know, I haven't seen either of them. I know I need to. I want to see that. I don't think I've seen that. Yeah. Uh, Land Before Time 2. Oh, uh, boy. Isn't there like 12 of these? Yes. There's so many. I remember loving the first one. Yeah. Because the, the first... Now they're just calling them current timeland. <laughs> ah! <laughs> we got Double Team, which is Rob Van Dam. No, that's not true. It's Van Dam, Dennis Rodman, Oh, it isn't Mickey Rob Van Dam. You know what's weird? I thought that was right. Yeah, that's, that's a wrestler guy. Yeah. RVD. <laughs> uh, you know... Jean-Claude Van Damme. Jean-Claude yeah. Van Damme. Yeah. That's, that's what weird. we're going for. This is pretty classic. Haven't seen it, but just based on the cover alone... You know what it's about. I think Mickey Rourke's the bad guy in that, too. Oddly enough. Like, when he was at his low, real low point. Yeah. Uh, they invade North Korea, and... Is that true? Dennis Rodman oh. <laughs> gets them out of it with his words. Instead of his fists. <laughs> I, um, I do a bad drunk Dennis Rodman. Though, have you guys have seen some of that stuff? Drunk <laughs> Rodman is cringy. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the original Land Before Time. I wonder if I would like these anymore. But I remember the Pizza Hut little ice. Oh, yeah. Burgers. God, I love those. We still go after those. those yeah, for cool. sure. Uh, we got Carlin on campus. Oh. I'm probably going to pop this one in. I don't think I've seen this. Uh, That's a real middle-aged looking Carlin. Yeah, it's from 1984. Like, not old, but like middle-aged. Yeah, it looks like yeah. they used... When they, like, reprinted it, maybe. Because this they looks like... old Carlin? This looks like an older Carlin. Yeah. That's kind of strange, isn't it? That is kind of strange. Hmm. Next up, we have the Aristocrats. Anytime I see this, I think of that movie about the dirty joke called The Aristocrats. I don't think I've ever seen this. No, me um, neither. The nice thing is, is if we ever actually decide to sell things, Disney, um, people still like Disney VHSs. I'm not going to sell any of these. But if we ever did, yeah, people like Disney. Apparently Disney is a thing. I know, and I think that's a fan favorite. I at least feel like I have some friends that really enjoyed Aristocats. Have you watched it? No, I have not. I don't think if I you like the Aristocats, leave it in the comments below. Yeah. Keep going with the oh, uh, clam Disney clam shows. We got Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. Now I don't know anything about this. I don't either, and I want to say we don't have that. No, we don't. Now I just looked at the runtime on it. How how long do you think this is? One hour, twelve minutes. Shut up. How long is it? Did you look at it? I really did. It's seventy two minutes. Are you serious? Yeah. Look at I it. swear to God, I didn't look at it. Oh, I'm good. So. Uh, it's that's crazy. The thing is, these these made for TV ones tended to be, or not made for video ones, tended to be not quite feature length. Like they claimed feature length because it would be an hour and a half runtime. Yep. On the TV guide. Yep. And then you take out commercials. Yep. And like the, you know, the original Toy Story, I want to say, is like not that long. Yeah, eighty two minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Man, I'm, pr I'm pretty proud of that guest, though. I legit didn't see that. Yeah. Very proud. Very proud of myself. Oh, I love this. So, it's the Mighty Mighty Boss Stones. We haven't put this on yet, but you just got a 45 player. A really old one. Yeah, I might not. That work. would not do it justice. But this is awesome. It's them doing Detroit Rock City, that Kiss song. And in um, Kiss Garb, I guess you call it. Um, I don't know a lot of the Mighty Mighty Boss Stones songs. Everybody knows Knock on Wood. They seem like a fun band. Yeah. I love having this. Oh, that's awesome. Modern 45s, you do not. We, you see old 45s all the time. A fairly modern one is gold. Yeah. We have an NXS one over there, too. Oh, nice. Maybe someday we'll get to it. Maybe we won't. We got mall rats. Oh, love mall rats. Kevin Smith's uh, second film. You know, I would be, when I was growing up, I would be hard-pressed to say that I liked Clerks more than I liked mall rats. But now it's flipped. Now, yeah. now I can appreciate it for a little bit more. But this was kind of more, this was not a success. No. But, it, but it's more... Uh, Sophomoric? More sophomoric. That's a good term. Which hit. Well, it was, that's a, I love that movie. Oh, it's a great movie. Eden, every, I'm sure most people, especially in Minnesota viewers know this, Eden Prairie Mall is where they shot it. Yeah. And it looks nothing like no, it. No, nothing. Which is just crazy. I wonder how Eden Prairie Mall's doing. I don't know. Because all the other malls are turning into dead malls, but he, I bet Eden Prairie's still doing well. It's such a wealthy town, well-off town, I'm sure they can yeah. support it. And it's where the theater is, which <clears> always <throat> helps. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Bob Devaney. And the, he was the coach, I believe, immediately before Osborne and had a long run and won championships. My Husker knowledge game used to be better, but I know Bob Devaney is well-loved. Yeah. And I love this style of VHS tape. Volume 1. Someday maybe we'll find volumes 2 through 18. Well, yeah. you said everything I know about the guy. <laughs> Here we have The Passion. This is not The Passion of the Christ. This is featuring Doug Barry in music by Eric Genius. Not sure what it is. It looks like a musical, and it looks like it would be a Christian musical. Maybe like even that. Oh, it's like in a you know like those things they have for Christian, like a almost like a big production sermon. You know, would be my guess. Well, hallelujah. We will never be watching that. Uh, spoiler might, alert: It's might, not going to be. Well, we might if the grid goes down. God willing, and the creek don't rise. Oh, I like this style. Legionnaire. This one. Oh, yep. Yeah, Hollywood video. Um, we don't have a lot of this style. And it doesn't fit well as trying to display it, but I love all the quirky things you get that they oh, did yeah. in VHS. I don't know this movie at all. Um, Legionnaire probably is going to have a hard time getting watched, unless, God willing, the creek, and the creek don't rise, that grid goes down. Yeah. We got to pick up a couple of generators so we can keep the power. We on. really do, don't we? Like, we, yeah. We got <laughs> Stallone, Snipes, Demolition Man. I love that movie. It is a really good movie, and the bad thing about this movie is that so often this gets compared to Judge Dredd, yeah. where people remember this as Judge Dredd, and they're like, oh man, that movie was garbage. This movie is not garbage. This movie is good. Judge Dredd is the horrible one. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I'm correct in saying that, right? Yeah. Like, it gets... I get, I get confused, too, though. Yeah. Demolition Man is a good It is the way better movie. Yeah. Is Judge Dredd okay? I don't even remember if it's okay Judge not. Dredd's pretty bad. It's pretty bad? Okay. I need to I need to rewatch that. Fun fact, they both have pinball machines based on those movies. Wonderful. Yeah. They look that. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Wait, that's inaccurate though. That is inaccurate. Yeah, Judge Dredd isn't based on. That's a fantastic machine though. It came out the same time as that movie, so it was used as a promotional tool. Okay. The Judge Dredd pinball machine, but it actually is based on the comic book. Great. We used to have that. That's kind of a regret. Yeah. Huh. What are you gonna do? Yeah. And there's time. That's it. What? I, I could go we could do a whole video about that machine. Oh yeah, the, the machine's awesome. The bodyguard. Um, I've seen this movie. It's one of those movies that Mom liked. Maybe Joe liked, too. Joe liked it. Yeah. And so it was on a lot. Pro yeah, probably fair to say Joe liked it more than Mom. So we it was watched a lot. And that soundtrack, if it's not still at one time, was the best-selling soundtrack of all time. And I love Kevin Costner. Winnie Houston's okay. Rest at R.I.P. Rip. We got Tribulation. Ooh, look at that. It's Gary Busey in Tribulation. Ooh. That's fun. It looks kind of like, weird. It looks like he might be playing a pretty straight role, too. I don't know. Make, Danger. Make that. Is that like V? It looks VR? like a VR headset. Uh. But that's from way back in the day. You know, that one might get put in sometime. That looks very strange. That does look strange. I'm going to go with Little Big Man. Uh, I feel like we just went over this one, too. Which mm -hmm. is going to happen. Um, great movie, though. Another one I would like to say I will watch again sometime. Dustin Hoffman. Dustin Hoffman is another one. Boy, I'm telling you. 
I'm not going on too much of a rant, but all these celebrities getting drove through the muck. It's like, man, did anybody, like, not do something terrible? Yeah, you no know? kidding. Ugh. What have you done? Oh, God, who knows? Mel Gibson, <laughs> the man only have knowing. Uh, yeah. We know you did something. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, really, the film that started it all for Mel Gibson, yeah. and it started one hell of a franchise. Yeah. yeah. That last Mad Max was fantastic. Yeah, and the sequel to this, really good as well. Road Warrior? Road Warrior. And then Thunderdome, right? Yes, I believe so. So, ah. Oh, this is my favorite thing from the box. I love this. Uh, who knows? I've never seen this in stores. If I would have saw this thing, I would have paid up for it. I know you would have. I I obsess over this concert film. Oh, yeah. I obsess. Love the Talking Heads. Um, boy, they're, they're always probably going to be in my top five favorite bands of all time. Um, we've already listened to this. I love the talking heads. i love the talking heads too but no joke there was like a year-long period where you obsessed over it so much that i started to loathe the talking heads. <laughs> i would believe it i was obsessed Ugh. they're they're so far ahead of their time yeah then we got billy ocean now this is a 12 inch single for uh when the going gets tough the tough get going oh so on this you have it's the, like different versions of it. Yeah, That's awesome. Extended version, seven inch version, club mix, and instrumental. All from the Jewel of the Nile. Ooh. That was the theme song. Ooh wee! You got man. That's I love that kind of stuff. Oh, I'm excited about this. I have heard of Peeping Tom. I don't think I've seen it. Sandy had seen it and had said some really interesting things about it. As far as like, didn't she like Martin Scorsese was responsible for it getting like a revival? Wow. Something like that. I'm, I'm not sure. It sounds really interesting. God knows we love Laserdisc. And this oh, is yeah. a Criterion. So this is awesome. Yeah. And I, boy, you just can't beat these long descriptions I used to be able to do. Oh, I love it. That is really cool. Now, I saved my favorite out of the box for last. That is awesome. So I get to cherry pick a little bit. It is... I'm going to let the people guess at home first. Guess who this is. All right, time's up. It is Turbo Man. Jamie, your doll is as hot as hard to get. Isn't that awesome? That is so sweet. From the show Jingle All the Way, or the movie Jingle All the Way. My head is smashed. Boy, I do a terrible one. Oh, that's so cool. He's got the little swift so can fly around. And you know, until Sandy gave this to us, I had no idea that we that they actually made it. I didn't this. either. It's one of those things I didn't know I wanted, but like now that we have it, it's like I can't imagine life without it. Yeah. I mean, it's just so cool. Look at that sweet rocket action. That is a well done figure. Minty fresh. Yeah. Sandy, you did so good. Yeah, we really appreciate it. You really nailed, like, almost everything that we, like, really love collecting. If there was a checklist, it was, like, every box. Yeah. 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 Thanks again so much. Yeah. Um, awesome. And again, we have just the best fans. Oh, we do. We really do. It's like, it feels like it was just, like, this brilliant thing to start making videos because people have been so generous with us. Yeah. And, really we, and we love making them. You yeah. guys are awesome. Subscribe. Like. Leave a comment. Yeah. We like all that stuff. Yeah. Remember. Too sweet. Two brothers in Nebraska. Pop culture's what they love. Join them as they talk about all of their cool stuff. Adventures in pop culture. I think I've heard of them.